What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Today I've got a quick little video for you in response to a request that I've been getting a lot on my recent shorts video and a couple other videos and that is how to style basketball slash mesh shorts in the summer. Today I've got five outfits for you on the rack and on my body partially already. A couple of them are a bit more basic, a few of them are a bit more creative to show you that there actually is a lot you can do with basketball shorts. Even if you keep it simple there's a way to make that outfit a little bit more interesting. Basketball shorts are very much trending right now but they're also super comfortable, like I said, versatile, and they are nice and light and breezy, so perfect for a nice chill outfit for those hotter days. We have a couple of jackets in here, obviously for the hot days, that's not the vibe, but I wanted to give you guys the variety, even with a little bit more layering up top. With that said, let's get started and look at outfit number one that is not complete yet, but I wanted to start off with something that's very expected. You got a t-shirt, you got your shorts, you got a pair of socks, you got some shoes, ideally sneakers, because we're gonna be a little bit more in that athletic realm just because they're basketball shorts to begin with. And this can look good even if it's a little basic. So the shorts here are the key piece. These are from Kith, and the shorts themselves have a really dope design. We've got that paneling in the way they're constructed with a few different colors, and I think that alone makes us look more interesting than a solid color basketball short. Same goes for the sneakers. These are New Balances, the Grey Days, 5740s. A standout sneaker can definitely help make this simple outfit a lot more interesting very quickly. The t-shirt itself is just a white, like off-white t-shirt. We have a pocket detail, but that's a little boring. So here's another piece that you'd probably expect from a simple outfit. And that is a hoodie, but it can get really hot to wear that hoodie. So as you guys know, I love to tie it around my body, like so, diagonally. I think it gives a nice dynamic to the outfit. That way we can introduce another color to the outfit, like this faded green, this hoodie is from Zara, and you also add a little bit of interest just because it's not as plain in terms of the silhouette. If you do want to pop it on, you absolutely can. I tend to wear shorts and then long sleeve things up top a lot. I really like the balance of the heavier upper half to the, you know, lighter weight lower half. But the key point here, once again, is color. A simple gray hoodie would look good, but something that's a bit more standout, like this grayish green, just makes the outfit a little bit more interesting. Then of course you can add some accessories, but we'll explore that with the next few outfits. This is look number one. If you keep it simple, opt for shorts that are a bit more interesting in themselves and play a little bit with color. Lastly, you can finish it off with a nice pair of sneakers. The second more basic outfit we have here is a black long sleeve from Clocks and Colors, a jewelry band, so this is technically like their merch. Then we've got from Abercrombie these more simple, significantly more simple mesh shorts in tan with a little bit of black and white. Then we got the white socks and the Alexander McQueen's in black and white on my feet. So clearly I took the inspiration of the black and white in the shorts to then extrapolate, fancy word, that to the rest of the outfit. But it's simple, it works, it looks good, but one little thing can help for two reasons. And that is a crossbody bag. You know, I'm a big advocate for the crossbody bag on this channel, especially recently. It can help for two reasons. One, you can pick that black and white combo up once more. You add a little bit more detail to the overall outfit and it just looks like you put more thought into it right there and then. The second thing is, if you put something in your pockets that's like a big drawdown to these, these mesh shorts, they're very lightweight, it's gonna mess up the aesthetic. So if you have a bag that you can put your phone, your wallet, your keys in, the shorts are gonna look a lot, lot cleaner. Then you can add a nice watch, a nice pair of shades, so silver and black right here. I got these in London at a vintage market. And your outfit is a lot more interesting than the simple outfit we started with. Even though the colors are kept simple, we added interest with the accessories. So reviewing here really quick, you can keep it simple and then play with the shorts and the color or if you want to keep that simple as well, you can accessorize and make your outfit more stand out that way. With look number three, we're changing things up a little bit. We're in the same pair of Abercrombie shorts, this time in navy. We still got some white and then some dark green in the stripe this time. On my feet, we've got high tops, we got the Converse platforms in white canvas, still got those white socks on. Then we've got from Uniqlo, a white ripped tank top. On top of that from Zara, a nice knit polo that's a button through. And then we have that crossbody bag here that I also got from a vintage market in London. I know a lot of you guys don't love this bag so much, but I do. So if you don't like this, just imagine I'm wearing another white crossbody bag that works with this aesthetic. So what I wanna show you guys here is that you can make it a bit more elegant, a bit more, I guess, dressed up with the right choices. So the tank top is how I wear basketball shorts all the time. Basketball shorts and a tank top just go hand in hand in my head. Then adding a nice lightweight short sleeve shirt that's knitted is, you know, a little 
unexpected, I would say. But we're keeping the aesthetic overall fairly clean. We've got clean white sneakers. The shorts themselves are a bit more on the simple side. They're not too sporty. They themselves, if you look from very far, could just be navy shorts. So that's what allows me to have a little bit more fun with the rest of the outfit. Same thing goes here though with the bag. I don't have to have anything in my pockets. Keep that aesthetic clean. You can add a couple more accessories to your liking. In the summer, very important to accessorize just in general. If you guys haven't seen my how to look your best this summer video, yet check that out and let me know if you guys want something a bit more specific to certain you know areas of accessorizing moving on to look number four and i've got three things that i want to point out with this look first and foremost you see them wearing a zara varsity jacket and a varsity jacket goes really well in general with the aesthetic of the mesh shorts they're both sporty but definitely have found their way into everyday wear and fashion so they go really really well together point number two you can have a lot of fun with your basketball shorts these are from teddy fresh another youtuber we've got a floor print on a brown backdrop and i think these are super super fun and while it's a flower print it's still not too effeminate it's a nice balance where i am very happy but i also like that back that you maybe don't like so you know do with that as you will, but there's a lot of fun you can have with prints on your basketball shorts. And point number three, color. I'm wearing my brown 70s that perfectly pick up on the color, on the base color of the shorts. It's also picked up in the details of the varsity jacket, and then we have that simple white tank as the base for the upper half. So color coordination throughout your outfit stays as important as it always does, even if you're wearing something a bit more comfortable. That goes all the way to the shades. I'm wearing brown acetate shades from Rag & Bone to pick up on these different hues of brown that we have throughout the outfit. So three things, keep it in the same aesthetic. It can look really, really good, even though this gets warm in the summer, I know that. Two, have fun with the shorts themselves, and three, make sure that you manage your color throughout the outfit. Picking one color and then repeating that in several parts of the outfit is the easiest way to get that accomplished. Last but not at least we got almost a combination of the last two looks. From the last one, we pick up on the shorts that are interesting because they have a little bit of a print on there. It's a little bit more toned down though as we only have a few patches on here. And then we also take that color coordination. So this lightweight utility shirt from Best Mate is picking up on the blue in the shorts right here. We still have that tank top. But then we have that influence from the third outfit that wasn't as athletic. We still got the high top sneakers on, but the shirt over the tank top is a little less sporty. It's a little bit more casual wear. And obviously it makes this outfit a lot more wearable in the summer because we're not actually wearing a jacket. As for accessories, I got a pair of blue acetate framed shades once again to play into that blue and then we have a little bit of a tan and white combo going so the brown frames are leaning into the tan a little bit but in the shades you can have a little bit more fun. It doesn't have to match perfectly to kind of tell that color story that you're trying to create. And that's it for today. I hope that these five outfits gave you a little bit of an idea of what you can do with your basketball shorts this summer. Obviously if you haven't seen my actual favorite summer shorts video recently, watch that because basketball slash mesh shorts aren't the only shorts that you can or maybe even should wear this summer, but they are a great option. So once again, I hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments, thoughts, questions down below in the comment section and subscribe, turn on the notifications, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.